this channel is all about positivity this is the cup of positivity this is the mascot of the channel and make sure you subscribe you hit the thumbs up if you like the video we don't like spies here so don't be a spy don't be a ghost and just subscribe to the channel let's go today we're going to talk about things that i wish i knew before i started or i went to uni it is completely normal to not be able to choose the right program when you're leaving high school you're in a kind of stress oh my god what program i'm going to apply for what studies i'm going to apply for i don't know which uh, which courses to pick i don't know which op optional courses to take etc etc so you're going to pick just a thing that you that at that time for you is the best thing and then you will arrive and start uni start your courses and then you will be like oh my god i don't like this course i don't like this program this is so complicated for me or maybe this is not what i wanted to do so if you really think that you like you've chosen the the wrong program try to see with the uni if you can change for another one that you will find more like um appealing to you and that you will maybe feel more comfortable um doing so that's the first thing to do if it's too late for you to change what you can do it's trying to take your time again to think through do i really have another option that that will be more related to what I would do after in my professional career, there is no right or wrong answer because this is your life, this is your studies, this is what you want to do with your life, you know. So you can and you you will probably need to seek people advice to to uh, listening to, to listen sorry to people advice for example your parents, your relatives, your friends, you will have less chance to regret your choice after afterwards you know if you took time to overthink and to think through your choice when you feel like it's not the right the right choice when in uni you would just have like you would just have like good uh, arguments and you have pros and cons of why did i choose this particular program why did i choose this specific courses um instead of another so just try to do that when you're in last year of high school and you can even write down the pros, the cons and do that with your family, do that with someone you really trust and hopefully you will have less chance of uh, choosing the wrong program. <laughs> it's maybe the most obvious one but you know, telling something blatant or obvious doesn't hurt anybody. So you have to be autonomous you have to be independent that's really 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 important in uni because most of the work will be done on your own or with your friends at the library when you're leaving your high school and when you're arriving in your freshman year like the first year of undergrad you will feel like you're lost because you feel like okay i had so much support when i was in high school like uh, the teachers were here with me and they were helping me but now you're in uni in uni you be, need to be independent in uni you need to go to the library and find the answers in the book so uh, prepare yourself to this uh, even if no matter which kind of preparation you undertake you will feel a little bit like lost but don't stress about it this is normal this is something everybody will go through when arriving in uni so and when starting uni so don't feel over overwhelmed about it the third thing i wish i knew before um, starting university is the fact that this can be uni can be a really stressful word and a really competitive word also you have deadlines you have deadlines for your midterm deadline for your assignments deadline for this and this and that so you will feel as i said overwhelmed this is the word of the video 
overwhelmed you'll feel like okay how i will meet my deadlines because most of the time you have also a student job so you will feel like how can i have a balance between work and uni you have to plan yourself all generation we are really lazy sometimes when it comes to plan yeah 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 i call all generation the kids of the rush why the rush because we are always in rush rushing rushing to meet all deadlines rushing to, to, <laughs> to submit assignments in time and so on you know planning was my secret actually to succeed in uni i was planning 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 you can plan a few days a few weeks before to make sure that you will have in mind everything you need to know for the exam and that you won't be like rushing at the last time um to know everything and to just try to learn everything that's the secret plan 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 p-l-a-n plan <laughs> if you do have the time and if you do feel like you're able to do so work work do internships do um, placements do summer internships and so on and so on and so on do something um i know a lot of us uh we have like uh, student jobs working in fast foods working in supermarket etc that is good because a lot of people need those jobs to pay um their loan their debts or etc but if you can have a paid job a paid pl placement a paid internship related to what you're studying or what you want to do after your studies that can be awesome and that will be much more uh impactful for you when when you will be like outside uni looking for a job what is happening after uni it's even more difficult because you know since we are kids uh, the teachers the whole family or relatives everybody is telling us go to school go to high school go to uni and then you will have a good job have good grades and you will have a good job it's not that simple <laughs> <laughs> it's not that simple um there is something called post-graduation depression this is something a lot of students are going through post-graduation depression is one of the things that you can experience after uni because uni is really really difficult but when you're done with uni after after making so much efforts you have this feeling that obviously you deserve a job most of the students especially in the uk and the us they have to borrow money they have to make loans and to go into debts in order to be able to go to uni or to college so that can be really frustrating after uni not being able to get a job straight away to get like to get to the point where you want to be so that's why i would tell you when you are in uni take all the advantages you can take all the perks take everything and don't feel like you have to be rushing to finish uni you know but when because when you will be done with uni you will just realize that oh my god the job market is also really really competitive and it's really hard you know to find a job and to stick to that job and so on so obviously many people are also finding a job straight away after uni but most of the time those people are the people who um who did um internships and placement and who had like jobs related to the field of study so i wish you liked the video i hope you will find it useful for you so if you're starting uni this year i wish you good luck um i hope you will appreciate your time at uni and if you're already in uni i wish you good luck with your studies i give i wish you good luck with your midterms your assignments and your assessment and etc etc i mean i'm happy that i'm done with it now because i don't have any assignments for now this, this is really pleasing but at the same time i miss uni so take time to appreciate every single moment and you will remember them I hope you remember them like um, with a smile, you know. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay home. Uh, I will see you soon for the next video. Take care. Won't get sick again. Bye.